Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. I am radiant, because my messages have resonated in your hearts. Many are asking themselves, many are analyzing themselves, what can I do to improve? And this is very good, because when you hear something and realize that it is good, and try to do it, you don't know what a big step you are taking. You simply open yourselves to receive more light. And that's fantastic. Keep it up, my brothers. Don't lose faith. Don't be discouraged at the first obstacle. I will repeat this constantly here, the path is not easy. Changing all these feelings that have been ingrained in your hearts and minds for so long is not easy. You have to almost reinvent yourself to get rid of all this. Some, through the evolution of the soul, achieve it more easily, others have a very rocky path, but they will be able to get through it. If you have willpower, have faith, believe that you are capable, you can do it. And when you get out there, you will look back and see the path you took. Arr. You will say, my God, was I able to go through all that? I'm strong. I am big. I am capable. And that's what we want, may you have confidence in yourselves, may you believe in your potential. You are capable. Yes, and as you begin to change these feelings, a new world begins to open up. You begin to see things that you did not see, you begin to understand things that you didn't have. It's like magic, everything seems to become much clearer. Why? Because the veils begin to fall and you begin to assert all the power of the star beings that you are. So, continue. Continue the walk. It is long, it is difficult, but it is possible. Nothing is impossible. It is possible. Ask for help. Cry out for our help, and we will always be with you, helping at every step. During this procedure, many of you were worried about your friends. Ah, but I have so many friends that I love as much as if they were brothers. Can't I put them on the list? Just like the adoptees, I said no. Which would just be the bloodline. I've already talked about friendship here in videos before. I'll explain a little more. Many times you have a friendship with a completely unknown person that feels like you've known each other for centuries. So I will tell you that you are right. Those friends who suddenly enter your lives, who make a difference, and who feel like you were raised together, who are blood brothers, yes, they came from other times, to bring the same feeling that you once experienced in other times. Yes, they may be souls from your own family, long ago who just didn't incarnate in the same womb, but who are close to you. So yes, they are souls that are practically of blood, but that did not follow your blood lineage. Are they important? Yes, very much, because true friendship, the one who only exchanges love, does not exchange envy, don't exchange bad feelings, it's very important in each of your lives. Because you always have that moment when you need to hear a friendly word, or someone to shake you up, or someone to show them the truth, the most difficult one that you don't want to see, but because he is your friend, even with the possibility of losing the friendship, he will tell you the truth. Because he loves you and wants to see you well. And later on you will understand, yes, he was right. So, my friends, brothers, are souls from other lives that resonate with you, that good thing, that pleasant thing, that sweet moment of being together, with true feelings. Feelings of pure love. Love, my brothers, manifests itself in many forms. Those of blood do not always explore true love, not always. There are many families that live together, but do not love each other, because there are so many feelings so many attitudes, so many discordant things, that they just put up with. There's no respect anymore. They just put up with each other because they are families. Often because they are financially dependent, so they have to stay there. But there is no feeling. On the other hand, 
there are friends who are not family feelings, they are not of blood, but it's a feeling so pure, so wonderful, that it's as if it were. It's my brothers, don't worry about them. If they understand the procedure, and are doing it, wonderful. If they don't agree with you, they even make fun of you, what you're doing, okay. Ah, but what will happen to them? It's not your problem. Unfortunately. Just like I said before, you have to think about yourself, firstly in you, and in those who are dependent on you, because they are not yet in a position to make decisions. So those will be driven by your decision. Now, those who are adults, who can make their own decisions, who follow their own path, unfortunately they will be analyzed for what they contain in their hearts. It's not because of what you want, it's because of who they are. So, there's no point in worrying about your friends. Everyone is already following their own path. Everyone already has their own heart. Each one already has the light in their heart, and will be analyzed by it, as you will be too. I repeat here again, there is no point in just being nice, you have to preach this, and be this. Your heart has to shine, love has to be greater in everything you do, and your heart will be shining and you will be separated from the chaff easily, easily, for your heart will shine and all those under your charge will also be analyzed by the heart. Ah, but am I at risk of losing my child? It's my brothers, I'm not going to guarantee you that 100% will go with you. My brothers, you have to understand that baby children are souls, they are not baby souls, they are old souls, who have already incarnated many times. How do you know what that soul's purpose is if it's a baby? You do not know. So, yes, you could lose your baby, because who guarantees you that that soul is pure, that that soul has an enlightened heart? My brothers be prepared. Don't suffer in anticipation. I'm not saying this here to make you afraid of losing your children. Everything will happen by the will of our Father or Mother God. It's not you who decides. Everything comes as it should. If you have to lose your child, this is a lesson for you, just as you could lose it in the day-to-day -day world. Exactly the same. No mother wants to lose her children, but there are mothers who do. And there? It's the same thing. But let's believe that everyone around you, and under your responsibility, are enlightened beings and everyone will go with you. Perfect. Think like this. It gets easier. My brothers, learn to accept that each one of you is a divine spark, that each of you is a soul that brings with it good things and bad things. What I have been trying to do here is to elevate these souls more and more. I try to elevate you more and more as souls, so that you arrive in the fifth dimension clean, elevated. There are many things you have to give up, lots of. It is not an easy path, but that's what I'm trying to do, elevate each of you as souls. Because many times you can be a wonderful person in this incarnation, but your soul still has a black piece, because you managed to evolve from other lives, but you cannot erase what you were in the past. So you still have a black piece in your soul. So this is my brothers, this is what is being done. Many are thinking that this procedure is wrong, that I would never ask for this. What do you mean, the Archangel is going to ask for something like this? You don't know what's going on in my mind. You do not know what is being planned for you. Many understood. Many. This resonated in their hearts and they are doing it with an open heart, trusting. Point. Now I repeat again, those who don't feel comfortable, who don't feel that this is something I do, don't do it, don't do it. I'm still the same, I'm not going to judge anyone. Now up front, up front, when all those who are undergoing the procedure now are well, balanced, in the first places in line, you will definitely regret it. Will it be too late then? I don't know. I don't know. Because time is passing quickly, and even though you think nothing is happening, 
things are moving forward. And maybe there isn't time for you to cleanse yourself of everything that needs to be cleansed. So let's continue. Back to talking about friendship. Do not worry. Whoever has a pure heart, a bright heart, will certainly be with you in the next world. Nobody will forget anything. No, this forgetfulness that you have when you reincarnate will not happen. No, you will go to the fifth dimension being aware of everything you were here and now, and more awareness of everything you have ever been, before. Because the veils will fall. You will be able to see every incarnation you have had, everything you did, and everything you didn't do. Ah, but that won't be bad for us, do we know all the bad things we did? No, because your hearts will already be bathed in love. So when you see the things that you will be able to forgive, instantly, without suffering and without blaming yourself, without judging yourself, you will know how to transmute each of your feelings. And that will take away all the burden of pain that you have been through and put through. But let's walk. The procedure continues. This is just the first. There are still many ahead, and each one you do, you will feel yourself rising higher and higher, believing that they are capable of living in the new world. The topic today was friendship, it was love, it was the procedure, it was a mix of many things. Tomorrow yes, tomorrow I will start a new phase so that I can keep you up to date with what is happening. We have reached the end of this month, and there are just a few days left before we finish this procedure. So you need to know what is happening around. The next videos will be about this, so that you have awareness and perception of what is happening in the world. Not just here in your home, but across the planet. Wait. These will be intense and very interesting videos. I am Archangel Michael. I am always here with you, protecting you, and helping you, when you ask.